Welcome everyone to this free CAD tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add text into a 3D part. We'll cover flat surfaces, extruded text, and even wrapping text onto curved faces. Let's get started. Okay, here we have an example model ready in the part design workspace, and now we're going to wrap text on its top surface. Let's begin. Okay, to add text, switch to the draft benchmark from the drop down menu. So now you really the draft workspace. Now click on shape from text in the toolbar. Now specify the coordinates for the text. Set the Z coordinate to 15 so the text aligns perfectly on top of the block, since the block height is also 15 millimeters. In the string field, type the text you want. Set the height as per your requirements and then choose a font from the library. OK, you can browse it from window option in font. Once all done, click OK and the text appears in the graphics area. If any error appears, just ignore it and close the dialog. If needed, use the Move tool to reposition the text. Here you can see. And that's it, the text is now placed on top of the block. With the Draft Workspace tools, you can easily create, position, and customize text before converting it into 3D geometry. Now, go back to the part design environment. Okay, so now first you need to combine the text with the base body as it is not moved to the body. So go to the Feature Tree. Then select the body and the string text, and right-click and choose Move Object to Other Body. The dialog box appears. The body is selected by default since there's only one. If multiple bodies exist, you'll need to choose the correct one manually. Once done, confirm in the dialog box. Then, select the text and activate the pad tool from the toolbar. Set the length of it as per your requirements, and once all parameters are set, click OK to confirm. You can now see raised 3D text on the block. OK, now let's understand extruding text in the part benchmark. Switch to the part workbench. So now you are in the part environment space. From the feature tree, select the text. Activate the extrude tool. Set the height as per your requirements, then click apply. And here you can see the preview then click OK to confirm it. Now the text is extruded. You can even add appearances to it by right-click the text, choose Appearance, and now select a color from the color palette. Once done, click OK to confirm it, and you'll see the text color updated. So that's how you can extrude text in the part workbench and even customize its appearance with colors for a more polished look. Okay, now understand wrapping text on a curved surface with another example. Finally, let's wrap the text onto a curved face. Here, we already have a curved part along with some text created. The text is made in the same way as we did earlier for a flat surface. Then switch to the Draft Workbench. So now you are in Draft Benchmark Space. Then use Convert Shape String to sketch. Here you can see that the text is converted into sketch now. If any error appears, just ignore it and close the dialog. Delete the original shape string. We only need the sketch version. With that, the text is now converted into a usable sketch and cleaned up, making it ready to be projected onto the curved surface. Now, return to the Part Design Workbench. Select the surface, then click Support to Sketch. Choose the text sketch, confirm the options, and click OK. The sketch is now supported by the curved face. Now let's go to the Feature Tree. Then, double-click the sketch and draw a construction rectangle around the text. Activate Construction Mode, select the Rectangle tool, draw it, and close the sketch. Once you're done, click the Close button to confirm it. To map the text on the surface, we need the Curve Workbench. 
If you don't already have the Curve Workbench installed, go to the top menu and click on Tools. From the drop-down, select Add-on Manager. A dialog box will open showing a list of available workbenches and add-ons. Scroll through or use the search bar to find Curve Workbench. Select it, then click Install. Once the installation is complete, close the dialog box and restart FreeCAD to load the new workbench properly. Now switch to the Curve Workbench. Select both the text sketch and the surface, then click Map Sketch to Surface. The text is now projected onto the curved face. If the orientation looks off, set Reverse U to True. Enter the thickness value, let's use 0.5 millimeters. For engraving, you can even use negative values. Finally, set fill faces to true for a solid look. Here you can see the text beautifully wrapped and perpendicular to the curved surface. Let's now see how to apply color to the text. Okay, so to do this, right click on the text and choose appearance. From the color palette, select your desired color, then click OK to confirm. The text will now update with the new color. Here you can see the preview. And that's it for today's tutorial. We learned how to add text on flat surfaces, extrude it in the part environment, and wrap it around curved surfaces in FreeCAD. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more FreeCAD tutorials. Thanks for watching.